Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today I'm gonna to share with you my everyday go-to summer look. This has been a look that I've been wearing in all of my recent videos. These days I've been doing my makeup a lot in the car and so obviously it's very easy to do. I also did some skin prep and I'm gonna walk you through my current routine, some of my favorite skincare faves I've been using a lot recently. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. A portion of today's video is sponsored by Lancome and they did launch a new concealer. This is the Lancome Taint Idole Ultra Long Wear All Over Concealer. I've been using this concealer a lot. If you saw my last full coverage foundation routine video, I actually used this concealer in that video but didn't really showcase it, but it officially is now launched. I'm so excited to talk to you about it because it's been living in my makeup bag for the last like two months. Big thank you to Lancome for sponsoring a part of this video. So like I said, skin is already prepped, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through my current routine. Skin prep is super important to me and I haven't done it in a while so I figured I'd walk you through my current skin prep routine, all the products I've been using a lot lately. I've already cleansed my skin and I use the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is a product that Skincare by Hiram recommended. I picked up a lot of CeraVe products because of him so let me know if you want to see a more in-depth video of like hyped drugstore skincare products. Next I'm going in with this Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This is one of my favorite toners of all time. It leaves my skin looking so glowy and it really helps to even out my skin tone and skin texture. Then using the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. This eye cream is one of my favorites of all time. I really prefer it during the day because it has a brightening effect. It really helps to hydrate my under eye area and looks really great underneath makeup as well. This product is new but I've been using it a lot lately. This is a CosRx Advanced Snail Power Essence. It is thick. And it's kind of gross, but it really does remind me of snail slime. The way that it makes my skin look is incredible. It gives me all the glazed donut glass skin vibes. It allows the rest of my skincare to really absorb and penetrate into my skin. So I've been using this and loving it a lot lately. This moisturizer is so underrated. This is a Summer Fridays oil-free gel moisturizer. I was using this specifically because it is oil free and I was having a little breakout situation on my forehead but I've continued to use it because I really like the texture of it, absorbs really quickly and it reminds me a lot of the Tatcha oil free moisturizer but this one obviously is a lot more reasonably priced. I have really oily acne prone skin and I find that it gives me the perfect amount of hydration during the day. Then I'm using this Bloom Meltdown Oil. This is one of my favorite acne treatment creams of all time. I cannot tell you how many I've gone through how many of my friends I put onto this. It's just one of the best. I just use one or two drops of this and then I'll pat it all over my face wherever I have any problem areas, any active breakouts. Then having some watch it and watching a little bit of YouTube between my steps, allowing some of the products to penetrate into the skin before going in with the next step. I've been loving the sunscreen. This is a Super Goop Play SPF 50 Everyday Lotion. It is a little bit oily, so if you have really, really oily skin and you live in somewhere really hot and humid, I would not recommend this, but my skin has been pretty almost like normal lately, so I've been able to use a little bit more hydrating products. So I've been loving this one. Absorbs really quickly, it doesn't leave a white cast, and I love that it's SPF 50. Then I was watching YouTube and one of my ads came up. It was an ad that I filmed a while ago with Laura Mercier, so that was just kind of a super cool moment. I heard my voice and I was like, wait, that's me. <laughs> So these are all the products that I use. I hope you enjoyed this quick little skin prep. I'll go ahead and link all the products that I use down below as always. Now jumping into the rest of the makeup, I already did my brows and I actually used the Patrick Ta Brow Wax and this is the tinted color. I do have a video all about my favorite brow waxes, my current brow routine, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. I'll link it up in the eye, but I've been loving this tinted brow wax a lot recently. I just love that it adds a light color to my brows. It makes it a little bit easier to fill in. For my actual brows, I just started using this Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Filler. It's super easy to use. I feel like it is very pigmented, very waterproof, and lasts a good amount of time. I've only used this a handful of times, so I still don't know if it's like a 
favorite favorite yet, but so far I've really been liking it. I have it in the shade 40 medium brown. Then in my lashes, nothing new. I feel like I've talked about this mascara so many times by now. You should already know. This is the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. This is super waterproof. It's like one of the only mascaras that will keep my Asian straight lashes curled all day. So I always do a thin coat of this on my lashes. Let's go in with some of the concealers first. I have the Lancome Tate Idol Ultra Longwear All Over Concealer. Concealer. First off, this packaging of this concealer is so pretty. Like I said, I've kept this in my makeup bag for a couple of months now and I've been loving it. It has a really nice doe foot applicator. It's really big, which is really nice because it's really easy for me to get coverage in all the areas that I need and all I really need is like one dip, maybe two if I'm using a lot. So anyways, the first shade I have here is 320. Then we have shade 335. This one does look a little bit almost gray, but I feel like because it's so light on my skin tone, but it has a really good like peachy undertone. Then we have the shade 350. This one has a really peachy undertone. I feel like this one is really good for correcting any of the dark circles on my under eyes. Then we have three shake. 360. This is the shade that I've been keeping in my makeup bag. I just feel like it has the perfect balance of tones. It's a little bit peachy, but not super, super peachy like 350 was. And then we have the shade 410. Running out of hand space, but you can see this one has a really good golden undertone. I feel like the perfect shade that I think I want to use is 360 right here. And I almost feel like 320 is a really good brightening shade as well. So let's just take out both of those. One key too is skin prep is so important. I talk about it all the time, but skincare first. Makeup second, I feel like my skin is already glowy and that way I don't need to apply as much product on top. So I really focus on the skincare because it really does pay off in the long run. A small triangle like in my inner corners, a little slash right on my outer corners, and then a little bit in my nose area just because I feel like I need to conceal some redness. Putting the concealer helps to really uplift the face and especially on lighter makeup days, I don't wanna use a whole lot of product, less is more. So putting it in very targeted areas really helps to give me that coverage only in places where I need. Blending it out with this little beauty blender, but this concealer is so lightweight but gives me a good amount of coverage and I've just been using it so much lately. I have really oily acne prone skin but I've been really loving this concealer. It gives me the perfect amount of coverage. So easy to blend out. If you wanted ever a little bit more pigmentation or a little bit more coverage than usual. Like I do have this little blemish right here. So one trick that I like to do is I'll just apply a little bit of that concealer and I'll just let it sit for a couple of minutes. That way it kind of dries down. You get a little bit more coverage from the same product. So that is a little bit of a hack for you. I have a little bit of redness right there. And then I do want a little bit more of a brightening effect. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. My siblings were just in town and I was playing mom for the week. I was driving them around LA, showing them the city and stuff like that and still trying to work while they're here. So I just, playing catch up is never fun. So anyways, haven't been getting a lot of sleep. So let's do a little bit of extra brightening right there. This is in the shade 320. So it's a little bit lighter and this one will help to really brighten that under eye area. So, and then now that the concealer has had a little bit of time to sit on this blemish, I'm just gonna lightly blend it out with my sponge. I'm not fully blending it out. I'm kind of just like tap tapping around the edges and then this one as well, just so it's not like so concentrated on that area. And you can see like how much more full coverage it is. I did not use a whole lot of product. And then going in with a little brush, I'm actually gonna go ahead and blend around the edges with this brush, especially for blemishes and any problem areas that you really wanna cover up. I feel like you need to go in for that detail work, especially because sometimes sponges can kind of blend away product into nothing. I don't even know where the blemish is anymore, I lost it. For a while, while I wasn't applying products on my forehead, you can see there is a little bit of a breakout situation. There's like tiny little bumps on my forehead and I keep saying I'm gonna go see a dermatologist, but I really am gonna schedule an appointment like this week and see why I've been getting those breakouts because I don't really know why. I think it's like a fungal acne problem where I'm just allergic to something or food that I'm eating or something like that. So I need to look into it, but for a while I stopped applying 
all products on my forehead just because I didn't want to aggravate my skin. I wasn't using like any type of like creamy, oily products, but I was using powder sunscreen an oil-free moisturizer and I recently started applying products back on it and it hasn't gotten worse. I have a suspicion that it's dry shampoo that's making my scalp break out. There's like some ingredient in dry shampoo that I'm now super sensitive to. So I stopped using dry shampoo and that has helped a lot. But for those of you wondering why I wasn't applying products on my forehead, that's why. If you guys want a more like in-depth video about my little forehead breakouts, why it happens, maybe when I go see a dermatologist letting you know like what she says and stuff like that. If you want like a full dedicated video to that, let me know. Anyways, this is like the finished face. I feel like a lot of my skin tone is much more balanced. I need to go in obviously with my blush and bronzer, but this concealer from Lancome, I've been loving. Like I said, I have really oily, acne prone skin and I love it. If you have really dry skin, I think you will also really like this because it is so lightweight. It's not drying at all. It doesn't look cakey on my skin. I'll show you a close up. It looks amazing. There's no powders or anything like that. And you can even see this little blemish that I had. It covered it up really, really nicely. And I feel like this concealer would work really nicely in conjunction with the full coverage foundation but it's also so versatile that you don't need to use it with a full coverage foundation this one gets five stars from me i'll go ahead and link it down below but a big thank you to lancome for sponsoring a part of this video next let's go in with the rest of the base makeup lately i've been loving to go in and finishing my face before going in with eyes rare beauty sent over these cream blushes that i have been loving the packaging is so stinking cute i have the shade here nearly apricot i don't know if i want to use that shade or this one this is in the shade nearly mauve so I think I want to go with a more of a peachy tone I usually like to apply my cream blushes with a brush but I feel like these blushes really melt into the skin when you use your fingers I feel like the warmth just really helps it to look a little bit more blended and natural so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers the packaging of this product is so cute it almost makes me want to like push my fingers into it but it's a little bit more firm than that I don't know how to describe the texture I would say it's almost more emollient like it feels very thin which I really don't mind but I feel like it kind of is a little bit finicky to blend out if you tried Rare Beauty's other cream blush that's in like the tube that one is ultra pigmented so I feel like this one is nice because it is a little bit easier to work with especially if you are new to cream blushes and then you can see I have a little bit of cakiness around my nose and that always happens I don't know why the way my nose is set up but what I do is I take a little like buffing brush this one here is from elf and I'll just like move my nose over and then I'll use that to really like buff out the product in there so that way we don't get the cakiness and this happens with all concealers and then I'll actually go ahead and take this and blend it on my under eyes as well and that way we blend away all those creases makeup just doesn't look as heavy as well I'm gonna go ahead and set my face I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent honey powder I actually wasn't using this for the longest time because I thought that the powder was like too yellow and deep I feel like because of the undertone of the powder is like a yellow it's perfect for my under eyes and it doesn't make my under eyes look super white like some setting powders do. It just really melts into my skin. Set my under eyes, but it adds like a little bit of a brightening tone as well. Wow, my brows today, they be looking good. Then let's do a little bit of bronzer. I've been loving this Patrick Ta She Sculpted bronzer. It actually comes with a little cream situation and a powder, but on days when I'm lazy, I just use a powder bronzer. I always, always will use a cream blush because I feel like cream blush definitely makes a big difference on how like natural my makeup looks. So I always, I'll never skip the cream blush. This powder bronzer is really, really good. It blends out really, really easily. And I'll just apply a little bit to my outer cheekbones. go ahead and tap some on my chin as well I'm extra and I feel like I need a little bit more blush I'm gonna go in with this NARS orgasm palette how pretty are these colors when I first got this I set it aside because I was like I need to take a picture of it and I never did so I've just dived in and started using it so I don't know what color should I use Let's use this one and I'll pat it kind of like on my cheek slash upper where I would normally apply highlight I would do like in between that area and down where I would normally apply blush these shades have little shimmers in it you can see it almost helps to add a little bit of color but also highlight my face as well super pretty palette I also really like the highlights in here and then we'll pick up some of this highlight and I'll just apply some
And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole face with this Milk Hydro setting spray. This is a little mini, how cute is this? Then we're just gonna quickly finish off the look. I'm gonna use this brown liquid eyeliner that I talked about on my IG stories the other day. I'm obsessed with this. This is the Heroin Make Smooth Liquid Eyeliner. This is in the shade 02. I believe this is a black brown, but look how fine that tip is. I picked this out from Little Tokyo when my siblings were in town. We went over there to get udon and there's this little makeup store that I love shopping at because they have so many Japanese skincare makeup products and it's just a great way to pick up products in store without having to pay for shipping or wait for it to come. Mascara is obviously the same brand and then there's this makeup remover that I really love called the By Festa. I recently ran out so I probably need to go back. I'll go ahead and link it all down below as well. I'm just gonna quickly do my eyeliner. Eyeliner is done. I do have a full tutorial on how I do my liquid liner So I'll go ahead and link that up in the eye if you haven't seen it yet But I've been loving this eyeliner. It's so easy for me just to get that little flick that I always do I also have been really loving the dark brown color I feel like it looks a little bit softer on my eyes and also helps to not cover up my lashes as much So my natural lashes look longer. Does that make sense? Next I'm gonna go in with a second layer of mascara. This is the hourglass caution mascara This is one of my favorite mascaras of all time and I feel like I don't talk about it enough. This is actually a tubing mascara, so it has little fibers in it that really help to lengthen and add definition to my lashes. Tubing mascaras are also great because they don't really flake or smudge on my under eyes, which I feel like a lot of mascaras do for me. I feel like that combo just makes my eyes look so pretty, really helps to enhance the shape. Finishing off the lips, this is a little combo that I've been loving a lot lately. This is the MAC lip liner in the shade Spice, and then we have the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Rosewood. I do have a video all about a full face of Dior makeup. This MAC Spice lip liner, I honestly forgot about it, but it is such a pretty tone. It lasts all day on the lips and it kind of gives me like a flushed effect. If I wasn't applying anything on top, I could just apply that lip liner all over my lips and I love the way that it looks. And that, you guys, is the finished look. I feel like this has been a makeup look that I've been wearing a lot lately. It's so easy to throw on. Like I said, I do it in the car. If I'm just not talking and just throwing on the makeup, I can throw this together in under 10 minutes. So it's so easy, photographs really well, and wears really nicely in the warm weather. Today, it is actually around 95 degrees in LA, so it is hot. I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup look. I haven't done one in a really long time. Always fun to do a little catch up with you guys. I'll go ahead and link all the products that I talked about down below like I always do. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.